right. Yeah, that, that bad boy look good. It, it tastes real good too. We gonna get into it. I'm gonna give you the ingredients and the instructions on how to do that delicious juice. What's going on everyone, this is Chris. And in today's video, yeah man, we're gonna make one of my juices that I used to make. I had to dust off my juicer. I haven't used it in years. And this is a simple juice that I made. So I started off with some organic celery. You don't have to go organic. Um, I like to go organic, or goodness. <laughs> I like to go organic. So I, I cut pretty much the stems and, and the, the tips of it off. You don't have to. There's other famous juices out there that leave all of that stuff on, but this is just what I do. Uh, this bad boy is good. Like I said, I haven't used my juicer in a while, so even cutting the orange, um, I have a technique of cutting it. In this clip, you're not going to see that technique because it took me a couple oranges to get my technique down. But for the most part, I like to leave as much of the orange peel on as possible. Like obviously, I'll take off the top layer because you don't you don't want those oils very acidic. But leave as much as the white on as possible because there's a lot of essential vitamins and minerals that your body uh, need and soak up. Even when I'm eating oranges, I try to keep as much as the white on. So after the orange, I did some, some kale greens. And yeah, these bad boys, you can smell the, the green in the kale greens. I smell good though. So same, cut off the stems. Don't really need to chop up. Uh, chop it up too much because it'll fit my juicer and it'll squeeze the juice out. From there I went with two Granny Smith apples and when I when I cut those up I don't remove the seeds, leave the seeds in. Yeah, my knife is dull. I gotta I gotta get a new ceramic knife. But I leave the seeds in there, take the stem off but leave the seeds in. And I, I cut it like that. Like I said it, it fits in my juicer. I'm gonna have a harem juicer that I bought years ago when I was in Korea. So here, man, about a half a thumb size, depending on your thumb. So my thumb, I use some ginger. But yeah, this is what it looked like before the juice. And that yielded me about a, a cup and a half. I actually used, I wanna say three or four celery sticks, but. So that's my harem juicer. And I, I like this because it, it has a what, it, what is called an auger. It's kind of like a, a vice that squeezes and turns and churns uh, the juice from the from the vegetable or fruit and on one side the juice expels and on the other side the pulp now I also use a strainer to catch because I don't like my juice to be too pulpy some people may like it to get the added fiber uh, but for me I don't so I'm just setting up my juicer make sure it's working because like I said I hadn't used it in years I'll wash it off prior to shoot a video and I'm searching <laughs> I'm searching for the piece to catch all of the pulp so I use a trash bag just because it, it makes cleanup easier and here we go turn it on y'all like my hat I know I'm a cool cat so start off by putting in the uh, the kale greens and then from there I follow it up with something hard, so either an apple or celery, or if you have carrots, if you're using carrots. So you wanna kinda do that rotation where you put a hard fruit or vegetable in, and then a, I'm sorry, not a hard, but a, a soft fruit or vegetable, then a hard, soft and hard. As you can tell right now, I have the, the stopper closed, just so you can see the juice kinda fill up. I wanted to give that nice little presentation so you can see it like oh man that's that's cool it's cool to me it's so my daughter was watching she was pointing she was like ew <laughs> so as you can tell I'm rotating I'm putting in soft fruits or vegetables and then hard fruits or vegetable right there I put in that ginger and then I'm just rotating putting in an orange as well so with this you're getting a lot of good vitamins and minerals and it's fresh it's not it's not okay and then boom I open it up so as you can see, there, there's some pulp coming out with the juice, and that's why I have the strainer. Um, and you see on the other side, uh, the pulp is being expelled. 
So, you know, a lot of vitamins and minerals. So, yeah, I added another celery. So, I had three. But you're getting a lot of vitamins and minerals. Don't do what I did. You want to close the stopper up or you're going to make a mess. You see, I closed it up a little too late. But that's it, man. Simple recipe. No name for it. You can call it the mean green machine. You can call it the green monster. You can call it whatever you want to call it. Boom. Is that a, about a cup and a half? And look at it. Oh, so good. Check out my other videos. If you like this, leave a comment. Let me know if you tried it. And as always, you'll see me in the next video. Peace.